hello everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is Courtney if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by today as you can see from the title um have a very exciting video I say that every time because I'm always excited <laughs> but I am finally opening my mug press um, I got this mug press probably close to a year ago I want to say shame on me I literally have just had this mug press on the floor and if you saw my previous video about my sublimation printer it's kind of the same story I bought the um, mug press and just pretty much left it on the floor didn't open it at all so who knows the state of this thing don't do this <laughs> anything could be wrong and then you'll be out of warranty maybe like just don't do this but again i didn't have anywhere to put it and low-key a little intimidated so but i'm gonna open it today we're gonna get this thing open and we're gonna do some um test mugs with actually the cricket brand now i'm a little bit nervous about this because um, if you know anything about Cricut's mug press, I think it's like automatic, so you don't really put any type of um, time on it. It just releases when it's done, from my understanding. So I try to look at some forums and just watch some videos, and people say it's about five to six minutes, which is totally not the same from like other mugs I've seen people do in like regular mug presses, like the one that I have from Heat Press Nation. It's normally like two and a half three and a half minutes so I'm like should I do five minutes because it's a cricket mug press and I'm using my mug press or should I do like the three and a half minutes so I'm probably gonna try to meet the middle and I'm gonna do like four minutes on this um from the cricket brands mugs so we'll see fingers crossed hope that works out and a couple other things I figured out, well not figured out, but seeing is people, some people dip their mugs after they press them into like some warm water. I guess that like stops it from continually to sublimate or something. I don't know. I just tried to look up all the um, pointers and tips that I can since I'm new to this. So a little bit about the, the uh, mug press that I got is the HPN Signature Series Automated Sublimation Heat Transfer Mug Press. I believe it's the 2-in-1 so it's 11 ounce and 15 ounces. I think you can also purchase um, attachments. So if you want to do like the tumblers and different things like that. So I think you can also do the different attachments. I paid $307.76 for this mug press. Uh, let me see how much it is right now so as of right now today it's $349.95 so not too much more than what I initially paid I think I had some type of coupon or something like that um, for a little bit of money off so definitely we're gonna set this up and see how this goes and just pray that nothing's wrong with it I've had it sitting on the floor for a year so already it already came assembled 
One thing I did notice is in the inside, in the inside there's a little kind of mark here. Here's the moment of truth. Here we go, guys. Scorch the paper, that's for sure. Definitely burned it. <laughs> <laughs> I see the scorch marks. So four minutes was too long. I don't know if you can see on the M. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that is. But the other side doesn't look like that. Hmm. All right guys, so I've allowed the mug to cool. Um, I'm just sitting, I've been sitting here contemplating like what in the world could I have done wrong? So many things, right, this is my first time, so I could have done a lot of things wrong, but one thing I think is I didn't have enough pressure. So I tightened the knobs in the front because this has four pressure points, two in the front, two in the back. I tightened the ones in the front, but I didn't touch the ones in the back. So maybe I needed to adjust the pressure for those in the back. And the reason why I say not enough pressure, let me show you. See how it doesn't look like it really took here? And also, I think I actually didn't have it pushed in all the way, so that may also be it. So maybe it was that. I thought it scorched it, but I guess not really. So, and then I see a little bit of ghosting, sort of, where the paws are. 
I don't even think it's coming, picking up on camera. It's not too bad. Let me show you guys. I think this is the biggest thing right here. And I think, like I said, either not enough pressure or I didn't push the mug all the way in. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have plenty of time to practice, I'm sure. But this is my first attempt with my, um, I was going to say new. It's new to me. It's not new to my floor. <laughs> it's been there for a year. But my first time with my Heat Press Nation mug press and using the Cricut mugs at four minutes. So if you like this video, if you have any questions or suggestions, cause your girl is open for suggestions, please help. Leave them down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.